In this video I want to talk about Google Trends and what you can use it for and you can find Google Trends at google.com forward slash trends. Now Google Trends is a great way to analyze crowd behavior and to see what people are searching for at any particular given time over an extended period. Let me just give you an example. Um, let's uh, use a search term like X Factor the uh, talent TV show. And let's click on search trends. Now you can see that the pattern developed here is fairly consistent. Uh, interest starts to build as the show is trailed and then after the winner is announced it drops off and it's fairly flat again until the next year. And as I move along here you can see that the troughs and peaks get more pronounced mainly because over the years more people uh, start to get broadband internet access and uh, internet enabled cell phones which means that they can search more often and you can also see at the bottom here there's a news reference volume you can see what's being written about the X Factor all the way along and you can drill down here by region as well because let's say we look at the UK where the X Factor has been running for many years and you can see here search volume goes up fairly regularly and then you've got more news items and so on here but if we switch that to the United States you can see that the search volume and the news reference is pretty flat up until around 2009 when Simon Cowell announced that he was going to be leaving uh, American Idol to concentrate on bringing the X Factor to the US and then you've got other peaks when further announcements were made you can see here there were more news stories being written about and then you've got the various peaks as the show starts to take off and so on and you've got see this one here shows the peak in traffic when Simon Cowell to leave American Idol um, and these when various 